All right, and congrats to Megan for the Fallout Boy tickets. And now, related material, live at KPSU.
when I'm gone, when I walk outside, I feel I've found the start. The start of it all where I'm left again to find my way home in the dark. Don't fool me again, cause you are not my friends anymore. Don't know who you are, and I stand beside myself once more.
Standing by the window, waiting for the storm. I know it's on its way, and I know my days are done. No one was listening then, and no one's listening now, and I don't care. I was delusional back then, so I snuck away to fight it off to return home healthy one day. One day. By the window, waiting for a friend. Replaying the thoughts in my head that I can't forget. And the winter goes I know what it means To be the person that you feel That you feel inside yourself The sun, it rises, it rises In the west today It never really Hide itself away The options, they always weigh So It's just a trick for all of us It's a trick for all of us
Technology Act. <laughs> stars, they light my way, I have thoughts of drinking, but not of worries and problems, I travel on foot through the northwest dark, a lost boy, a lost boy in search of a real soul.
Okay, we're going to take a quick break and come back to related material. All right, they've got uh, two more songs for you guys, and then we'll be doing a little interview with related material. And here they are.
All right, stick around, and we're going to chat with related material. Okay, and we're back on the Anti-Apathy Hour, and I have related material live in the studio, now ready to chat with me. Hi, guys. Hey, what's up? How you doing, Betty? All right, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. It took me a little bit to adjust my headphones. I'm uh, one-handed right now. So. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I had a lot of fun before it happened, but, you know, <laughs> a little snowboarding. That's how it always starts. Yeah. yeah. It's all fun yeah. and games. Yeah, well, thanks for signing my cast. <laughs> oh, yes, that was the first. All right. Well, <laughs> once again, thanks, guys, for coming down. I appreciate it. it it's was our fun. pleasure. Thank you. I appreciate letting us come on again. Yeah, it was really fun to hear. And I can tell you've definitely been practicing on some of those. It's been good. Indeed. <laughs> we've, we've been working on it a little bit here and there. Yeah, pretty heavily. I just met these guys, actually, a few uh, months ago. And just how did that happen? Oh, uh, online dating. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, the magic of, uh, of of that certain certain list online where you can go find other musicians. And, yeah, we went to Craigslist. Okay, <laughs> yeah. we, we looked at we uh, met a bunch of weirdos before we met Sam. <laughs> it was a breath of fresh air when we finally met this guy. So yeah. nice. Well, before we get into trouble, I'm going to play something real quick. Indeed, the opinions expressed on the following program are those of the host, the guests, and the live callers. They do not necessarily reflect those of Portland Public Schools. Portland State University, KPSU, or the participating sponsors. Okay, now we're back. Hi again. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All right, so uh, you met him via Craigslist. Indeed. And uh, did you go through quite a few people before you narrowed it down to Sam, or how did this happen? Uh, let Nick answer. Okay, well, we had a couple different responses. The funny thing with is that uh, we actually, Nick and I both out, put out ad, separate ads, and we both got responses from Sam, uh, unknowingly that it was the same exact person that was responding to both of our ads. So uh, neither of us really knew then, each other's ads. And then neither one responded. And so I put up my own ad, and they were the first ones to respond to my ad, having no idea I was the one that responded to their ads. So that basically explains us. Mass right. confusion. <laughs> it's hard to find someone that is uh, friendly, friendly, <laughs> and that we can, you know, everybody has to get along and have the same opinions. And uh, yeah, we have group hugs before each practice. Yeah, <laughs> nice. it helps a lot. <laughs> now, now, give me a little insight now that your dynamic has changed a little bit. What's the uh, band practice like? Um, it's just more relaxing, eh? A little, yeah. a little dark and dank. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, currently using the basement. The basement. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, right, yeah. We're gonna get into Nick's basement, aren't we? Well, I'm six foot two, so it's kind of easy to bang my head on all the uh, heating ducts. But other than that, it's a it's a nice experience. It's been a blast. Yeah, yeah. We try to play at least twice a week. Very cool. And you said it's in Nick's basement, it's your practice space. Yeah, for now. I guess we all got a place to play, but uh, I make him come to my house. <laughs> I have attack dogs. <laughs> yeah, hardly. <laughs> what are your dogs? Los Alpsos. Uh, yeah, ankle yeah. biters. Yeah. yeah, they're pretty friendly. <laughs> Lovers. We go to Sam's house to practice once. Uh, we went there and you know did a little bit of recording. He's got some equipment, but uh, you know we just keep our gear usually at Nick's house, and uh, we go over there and try to play at least twice a week. Good times. And uh, when you do go over and practice, do you already have some material in mind? Is it a jam session? What's the uh, format? Um, I, we basically just have a bunch of songs, and we already have them. We already had them written, like Josh and me, from the last year. So we just have been trying to work on the old set list right now. We haven't really made any new stuff. I mean, a couple songs, I suppose. Hollow. Yeah, okay, maybe you're right. There's a couple. But still, yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep yeah. making new songs, you know, as the weather gets warmer some inspiration out there they're all new to me still exactly so the uh, rain is not your inspiration for songwriting oh sometimes sure but uh not this winter no it was a horrible horrible winter <laughs> let's not get into that <laughs> that is not a happy face i just saw there <laughs> no yeah it keeps you know, the snow kept everyone apart you know we lost our luster for a couple of weeks there and uh, then we got back together and started writing some new new stuff so we're getting some new material and trying to... Uh, relate it. Related material. <laughs> trying to relate Aww. it accordingly. <laughs> I wasn't going to go there, but, you know, Nick Why filled in the blanks. <laughs> I know, it's hard to avoid with that name. So easy. Yeah. Do you guys often joke about that? We've been debating the name for a while. Yeah. But, yeah. 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 Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. You know? We could, we could debate that, whether we debate it. <laughs> 
Great. So during your band, your band practice, how much of your time is actually banter and how much is uh, actually practicing? Basically, we, pra- we play music the entire time. There's not much... Uh, I mean, I guess we take a couple breaks here and there just like anyone else would, but mo- most of the time it's just music the whole time. A lot of band practices tend to be like an hour long or something with a lot of people, but I mean, with us, it tends... I mean, when we're playing the mellower music, it, it helps because we can play three hours and I haven't realized the time's gone by. It's- Indeed. Fun. Do you guys hang out uh, outside of band practice? We well, do. yeah. Yeah, we started to. Yeah, we do now. <clears throat> As we get to know Sam, yeah, we've hung out a couple few times, knocked him back. Uh, Josh, of course, is my brother, so I've already hung out with him plenty. Yeah, <laughs> we don't spend a whole lot of time together <laughs> off the, off, off the uh, charts, but, you know, we, uh, we tolerate each other during practice at least. Yeah. And I don't go out and... Uh, go out and party out with him or anything but you know he doesn't like the stinky bars no not much well they're not as stinky without cigarettes anymore that's true ah uh, you can smell the mold now <laughs> <laughs> that had been covered up <laughs> so sam how is it uh hanging out with the two brothers it's great they've already crushed each other's egos so it's pretty good the <laughs> dynamic works really nice i've always liked the uh three-piece dynamic you know less people less schedules it, Works really good. Is it a bit odd feeling like there's some inside jokes or some history behind there that you're just gluing into? No, I feel like I was there the whole time. I consider him a third brother. Actually, their mom, their mom just signed the papers. <laughs> <laughs> We're legally brothers. <laughs> That's really funny. No, it's funny how well Sam fits in. I mean, it's just like it's it's almost like we've always known him, and he's got the same kind of sense of humor. You know, when you first meet somebody, especially in a band, it's like. Okay, are you cool or are you lame? Or yeah, you kind you kind of approach each other when you first meet in person with caution, like, "Hey, how's <laughs> hey. it going?" And I look him in the eye. You're gonna <laughs> smile, right? Okay. It does sound like online dating. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I went on many failed dates. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Sam, when did you start playing the drums? Oh snap! Long time ago. <laughs> uh, uh, it's probably I don't know, twelve, thirteen. I used to have to sneak in on my brother's drum kit, or he'd pound me when he wasn't home and taught myself playing along to Led Zeppelin, and that's, I don't know. Nice. Were you the kid who was playing on the uh, pots and pans as a kid? Exactly. <laughs> I still do as a grown-up. <laughs> awesome. Now, you mentioned Led Zeppelin. Is there uh, any other fave music that you've been listening to a bunch? Oh, boy. Shoot. Um, all of it? <laughs> what, what's the last couple albums you listened to? Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. Uh, everyone say one. Oh, what, what, me too. Yeah. You too. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead and I was actually, guys. I was actually, I've been listening to the Freeze a lot lately, and I uh, noticed they're playing locally. That's awesome. I love those guys. I was listening to Sir Mix a lot on the way down here. I'll be honest. No way. <laughs> oh yeah. So you know, we've got quite a variety going on there. <laughs> yeah, we like all styles of music. I mean, uh, Sam actually uh, does some DJing work. Oh, really? Uh, I like the records. Yeah, we both are vinyl lovers, so. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. my wife and I DJ around town. Nice. Do you have a regular gig somewhere? Not regular. But we, we when we can. <laughs> uh, what's the last few places you played at? Zach Shack. <laughs> For allowed to say places. <laughs> Zach Shack, the Delta, we, we used to have a little thing there we do, and just wherever, house parties. What kind of music do you spin? Funk and soul to house and electro, whatever's. <laughs> Something totally different than what we play. <laughs> yeah. It's quite a variety. Is there uh, anything in that record collection your bandmates might give you a hard time for? Not me. Um, no, maybe some, uh, no. Mariah Carey, but <laughs> are you serious? Nah, I okay. wish. Because I was, I was just getting ready to say I wouldn't give him a hard time for anything until he said that. <laughs> and suddenly you take it back. <laughs> yeah, that was fast. No, 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 no. Yeah, we've got pretty a pretty wide. Variety this fool, of music. Josh over here, just told me he has Axel F single on pink vinyl. <laughs> yes, I do. Actually, you know the original Beverly, Beverly Hills, Hills Cop, <laughs> and uh, I just picked that up down at my, my I'm local a, Goodwill. I'm gonna have to try secret. to sneak it from him. <laughs> it's the extended. It's the extended <laughs> remix version. It's pretty tight. 
It's actually one of the first songs I learned on piano. Mm. Oh, what other instruments do you play? You play piano, huh? Oh, piano. I grew up playing piano and playing the drums. Anything I fool else? Fool around with other things. I wouldn't say I play guitar, but I do. <laughs> we have a minimal synth on, you know, the synthesizer Sam uses is phenomenal. I love just having that extra touch, you know. The Moog. The Moog. Mm-hmm. Moog synth. Yeah, it's awesome. It helps a lot. I love it. Yeah. It does add a little extra something. Yes. <laughs> so uh, is there any other instruments you own, Sam, that you play with? Oh, oh. Sticks and stones. Uh <laughs> <laughs> He tried the uh, harmonica. I have, a, I have a big Wurlitzer organ that doesn't work. That uh, I'm trying to get rid of or fix, either or. <laughs> and how did you acquire this? <laughs> inherited it from my grandmother. Oh. Yeah. So don't want to get rid of it. Oh, you inherited something that doesn't work? No, it works. No, that Just, never happens to me. It, <laughs> it got wet on the move up here. Oh, so. Where did you move from? Sunny San Diego. Sam's a new, newbie. Newbie. Five years deep. Well, you know, to be <laughs> deep. That's a transplant. Yeah, that's, that's quite a while. I yeah. guess you've adjusted. I've adjusted. I've yeah. paled up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how long have the brothers lived here in Oregon? Ever, forever. Us? Mm-hmm. Born and raised. Yep. That's right. Uh-huh. We've been to every town. We've lived in every town in this in this uh, Portland area, you can imagine. All the little we moved, metro moved chunks. We moved and moved and moved and... Uh, now we ended up where we're at. I actually live up in Vancouver right now, but uh, Nick lives downtown Portland, finally, where he always wanted to be. <laughs> Not downtown, but southeast area. Close to downtown, anyway. Yeah. Well, Close to In the music scene, in the area where he can walk to where he wants to go. He li- used to live out in Multnomah, and uh, it was a pretty much a drag to get out there. I essentially moved out back out to southeast to find a drummer for this band. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. where I live, in the mm-hmm. southeast. Yeah. Cacao! Cacao! <laughs> so it worked. <laughs> so yeah, we're just yeah. trying to play as much as we can and get out there and have fun. Nice. Do you have any gigs coming up? No, actually, I haven't. Uh, we we did a couple over <clears throat> St. Patrick's Day week, and uh, we're gonna try to record and work on our stuff more before we jump up on a stage. I get kind of hasty sometimes, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm really just learning these songs, so if I messed up a little. Yeah, we had fun. Apologize. St. Patrick's Day was fun. I mean, we played at Angelo's up on Hawthorne and that. You know, that, that was kind of fun, except for it got a little bit out of hand. <laughs> a little rowdy. <laughs> they had a second band play, and uh, it got pretty rowdy, but it was fun. We had a good time. Very cool. And uh, if people want to check out your music more, where can they find it? We have a MySpace page. It's just MySpace backslash related material. Really easy to find. Or just go to music, look for Related Material. I think we're the only band called Related Material. If you just Google Related Material Portland, it pretty much brings up the page. For real? Yeah. Wow. Very cool. Amazing. It's it's amazing <laughs> what the Google <laughs> will do for us. They never count on us having the internet. No. Well, that's why you have such an extreme name as Related Material. We debate back and forth, but uh, nobody else has it, so there's only going to be one. <laughs> uh, well... Thank you to the one and only Related Material for being on the anti app the Hour. Thank I really you. appreciated it. Thank and you. Uh, stay tuned for Cersei's The Beatdown. Ah.